Hey everybody, Zas here. This is the uh, Vintage Cube. All right, what do we have to start with? Some fun cards here. Uh, there's a Mox Pearl. There's a Lanawar uh, Rofellos, which is fantastic. Uh, and Lightsteel is great. Garuk is great. So many great cards. Tezzeret is great. Uh, it... I think the kind of standard play is so just if you see a Mox, you take a Mox. Um, I'm a huge fan of Rofellos. He's definitely better in the Legacy Cube than the Vintage Cube, although he's still fantastic here. But I, I think uh, you, you can't just not take a Mox. It's too good. Um, these are all otherwise great cards. Is this thing any good? Unless the... Look for a... I see an instant or sorcery. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll take the Mox Pearl and see where we go from there. Ooh, there's Oath of Druids, which is one of my favorite cards. Um, I think very underrated. Um, often seems to wheel, at least maybe it was at the Legacy Cube last time that it wheeled. Uh, I also am very partial to Villainous Wealth as well. And then there's this Worm Coil Engine, which is just a plain good card. As, same with Mirig Battlesphere. Uh, Shackles is also very good, although I think more more good in the Legacy Cube. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Oath. You know, let's see if we can get like a turn two Oath into something broken. That seems fun. I'm a fan of Oath. Well, here's a Savannah. Uh, there's also Mana Vault, though, and Gilded Lotus. So I think I kind of just have to take the Mana Vault here, just continuing with our, our fast mana theme. Maybe we can get a Tinker or something like that. There's, uh, yeah, like all of these cards, maybe in a super lucky world we wheel the Savannah, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take the, the, the ultra fast broken mana. I think kind of has to just be the best thing you can get here. Okay, um, now elves and stuff aren't the best with Oath, obviously. Uh, Kalidas mm -hmm. seems fun. Caracas is really a good card, especially with so much mm -hmm. broken stuff. I kind of, I, I, my mind is going between Nissa World Waker mm -hmm. and Caracas. And I think I'm going to take Caracas mm -hmm. just because it, it has such a powerful effect. Uh, you know, it doesn't require any additional mm -hmm. mana. But okay. Uh, with that said, now um, we have a white base and green, and there's nothing super broken here. Uh, there is Mind Slaver. Uh, and Chandra is also just kind of playing a, a good card. Maybe I just take the Chandra here. This is not really the mana-wise uh, where I'm looking. Otherwise, I suppose there's Goblin Welder. But let's take Chandra. It's not a creature. <laughs> I have so many memories of playing Chandra in the Twisted Color Cube. Uh, so Mana Gorger Hydra, I think, is not where... Mm -hmm. We want to be with an oath deck. Um, man, this card just does not seem strong to me. I don't understand why this is in the cube, honestly. Uh, it really seems underwhelming. I am a big fan of Unexpectedly Absent. Uh, yeah, let's take... And then there's the Naturalists. I guess you can destroy some broken thing. Yeah, let's take the Absent. Ooh, and a Koth. Okay, okay, I'll take another Red Planeswalker. A bit weird, a bit weird of <laughs> where we are here. Okay, here's an Elspeth. Elspeth is... Good. Uh, again, not super great with Oath, but 
Uh, and there's a wildfire. Ooh, do we just play wildfire maybe? Wildfire is kind of the thing. Uh, especially with if we get fast mana. Yeah, I can see a wildfire over an Elspeth. Okay, okay. Maybe, I'm not sure if that was the best, but okay. And uh, Garuk. Yep, I'll take Planeswalker. Hmm, Villainous Wealth. That is a fun card, but I don't really see that working out. However, Fiery Confluence, I think, with a Destroy Artifact mm -hmm. mode is very strong. So we've got quite a bit of a red base here. Nothing really... White is... We're unsure. And... This I could do because you can sack it for the oath. So let's play that. Okay, well I think the stomping ground is exactly what we want here. And sure, I'll take a welder. Hmm. Maybe in case... Okay. So we have no real big oath targets yet, but that's okay. It's just pack one. Um... A red green Ooh, okay that's a library of Alexandria which is I think what we just have to take uh, there's also progenitus which is one of the best oath targets I think uh, if we're lucky we'll get him back but I think we have to just take the library it's too good uh, I really do like progenitus um, oh and almost didn't look at our brimstone volley down here but that's okay Yep, I would would really like to have taken this as a second pick, but the library really just runs away with games. Okay. Uh, so Sphinx of the Steel Wind is a perfectly adequate oath target. Uh, not really going to be castable for us, but that's okay. And then otherwise there's like a signet. Yeah, let's let's take our Sphinx. Gotta start getting something that's uh, playable here. Now note that currently this is this is actually effectively uncastable. Oh, and bitter blossom. Not really the the best card with oath. There's also Through the Breach, though, which works quite nicely with uh, Oath and like Emrakuls and type stuff like that. So maybe we should, since we're, if we're already playing red, I think we should take the Through the Breach here uh, and, you know, kind of try for more big mm -hmm. stuff. What is this? Return any number of cards with different mana cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's take uh, Through the Breach to kind of go for something unfair. Well, uh, is it just going to be this pretty mediocre temple? Yeah, I think it might just be the temple. There's Bayou for Sphinx, but, you know, I think casting Sphinx is a long shot. Uh, so, and then this finds a swamp or mountain. So it does find the stomping ground. Yeah, let's take the temple. And here's a steam vents that is also um, makes Sphinx a slight possibility. Um, mm -hmm. Although I actually think I prefer the then there, yeah and then there's also watery grave, mm -hmm. which would do one or the other. I kind of mm -hmm. want to just take the signet though because uh, and the reason I want to take the signet is with a uh, wildfire, uh, we're incentivized to take the artifact mana. Ooh, okay, uh, that's there's Gristlebrand, so I think we really need to make sure we have targets for our Oath and our Breach. So I'm just going to straight up take the Gristlebrand here. Ooh, Tooth and Nail. That's also mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Uh, it's more in the Rafelos, I think, uh, version. 
but I suppose it's a way to put them straight into the battlefield. It seems a mm -hmm. little iffy, though. Um, I'm not super sure about mm -hmm. the Tooth and Nail. I also am not mm -hmm. sure about these two plane walkers. They seem a little underpowered, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but OK, I'll take the Garouk. He's the cheaper of the Garouks. And there's a smash. Uh, I think though it's a Song of the Dryad song. It really, there's so many just insanely powerful cards that even though this has card disadvantage, um, I think I think we just have to take this to you know, deal with any permanent. Okay. Uh, nothing really what we're super looking for here. Artifact mm -hmm. creature till end of turn, Temple of Plenty. Yeah, we'll take the Temple of Plenty, I suppose, even though there's no no white card. Well, the Sphinx, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I guess with we have unexpectedly absent, which I'm not sure if we're playing, honestly. Let's put this uh, aside as well. Hmm. There's an O-ring. I think O-ring is also good. It's another just deal with anything card. Uh, we need to take that. So we did not get our Progenitus back, unfortunately. If we're really lucky, we'll get a, an Emrakul or something like that, or one, one of the Eldrazi that has the Annihilator. Braids, huh? I suppose the the quagmire. Okay, here. None of these, I think. Um, Sideboard the Spectre. I don't think we're playing any of those. And sure. Also, not really playing any of those. Okay. A <laughs> little light, a little light, but we are. So we really want to draw some big, some nasty cards here, strong cards. Uh, yeah, there would have been Gaius Cradle for the mono green. Tooth and nail. Uh, I like Frost Titan, but he's really not the power level of what we're looking for. Um, Zealous Conscripts is not... That, that's definitely within consideration. Uh, it's any permanent. It works with Plain Walkers. Can kind of go for the Alpha Strike. Uh, I could see that. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Zealous Conscripts. Okay, wonderful. There's a, an Eldrazi, and it does have mm -hmm. Annihilator. Oh, man, and the Natural Order was there, too. So really, we saw a fantastic... Somebody has a fantastic green deck. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take the Eldrazi here. Let's maybe take out this Zealous Conscripts. And I'm, I'm actually looking at the Hedron Archive here, again, with the um, wildfire idea. And then there's also Sylvan, uh, which is just a strong enchantment. Whew, both good, both good cards. I think I'll take the Sylvan. I think it's uh, a stronger power level. So here's Avenger. <laughs> Man, really, the mono green. This is really not the best card, though, with Oath, for obvious reasons. Um, is there anything else? Otherwise, Huntmaster. 
And this is also not mm. fantastic with Elf. With Oath. Mm -hmm. Tezrat. Mm. Whew. wonder if it's a winter orb. Okay, I'm going to take the Avenger and just at least sideboard it as a possibility. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, there are games when we won't draw Oath, so maybe. But yeah, I agree this guy doesn't seem top of, top of the line here. This counts as a, a land, doesn't it? So three oath slash through the breach targets. That's an adequate complement, I think. I don't know if Koth is good enough here. Uh, I'm liking the Signet. Uh, There's just also Fast Bond, um, which is very unfair. Also, mm -hmm. Angel Strong. Actually, yeah, mm -hmm. there's three good choices Signet, Fast Bond, and Angel. Mm -hmm. So, Angel. Angel's mm -hmm. a reasonable target. Fast Bond's very broken, though. I think I have to take Fast Bond. Uh, Fetters deals with anything. I like that. Um, but I'm going to go for the fast man again with the um, wildfire idea. Um, there's this Garouk. Mm -hmm. And Inferno Titans actually, he can be pretty reasonable, you know. Uh, hits for nine. You know what? Let's uh, let's take a. He's also just straight up castable in our colors, and I think that's something we need to pay attention to. Uh, this guy not really with the oath plan. Geist, we have no blue. There's Geddon. Planeswalker get in. And maybe just Rift Bolt. Yeah, let's take the Rift Bolt. Okay, there's the Frosty. Uh, him, I think, since we're not have any chance of hard casting him, he's not quite as good for us here. Uh, yeah, let's just take Blood Braid. That's fine. It's really bad with Oath. <laughs> Tomb. No, we're not playing mm. anything black. I think we'll s s slime. That's fine. And yeah, let's take the helix. Helix is just all right. Take the winter orb. This deck is a bit all over the place. I won't deny it. Um, not playing either of these. Okay, so this is, uh, we didn't get sneak attack, uh, we didn't, we passed up progenitus, but I think that's still right for library. Um, so if we look at it this way, we have four kind of real creatures, uh, the Sakura doesn't count because we can sack it at any time. Um, Maybe we can put in one. Uh, 
blue land just to make just for the off chance of casting the Sphinx. Doesn't seem like the worst idea. Um, okay, this deck is a bit all over the place. I will I will certainly grant that. There's actually a bit of an interaction with our Caracas, right? Because if we threw the breach, say Gristlebrand, we can Caracas to make sure it doesn't die. Same with the Kozilek. It's a bit a bit out there, but it's a something. Could just add acidic slime as a value target. Not really overwhelming with uh, oh, it's all. Um, and then it's also Avenger, but yeah, Avenger and giving them an oath doesn't seem doesn't seem great. Don't know if we'll have enough mountains for Koth to really do anything. Uh, Zealous conscripts is another option. Yeah, I could see Zealous. I could see adding Zealous as another creature. And then Bloodbraid. Bloodbraid has a many targets. Uh, fantastic number of targets, really. Uh, the only thing is, if if we oath it, it does nothing. Uh, so that gives us like a one out of six chance. I mean, it isn't a bit of a Nambo, but uh, it's okay to have Nambos in your deck. You know, you, there are going to be games when you don't draw Oath. I don't see Exalted Angel being good enough. Maybe just Absent, but the double white I find a little scary here. Mm. Could just play something like slime. Mm -hmm. Or what about primal? Is primal good? Put something on top of their library. If I have through the breach I can look for something. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's take primal. That's fine, I think. Okay. Alright, so that's twenty-three. Um And I think we're okay with some mm -hmm. tap lands. Let's see what Murdo suggests here. Wants well, one black, one white, three red. Um, I go for no on the white and no on the black. Uh, and then, do I want one blue for the Sphinx of the Steel Wind just as an off chance? Yes, I can see that. So maybe one less red. Let's see what. Oh, okay, I can add one more red. So, how many red sources do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven red sources. And white sources, I just have one, two, three. And green sources, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven green sources. That one blue is looking pretty lonely, isn't it? Wonder if we should just cut the white. Cut the O-ring and the helix. We could bring in Rift mm -hmm. Bolt for helix. And then instead of the O ring, like an acidic slime would be more. Uh, it's not as good as O ring, but it's more castable. And then we still have the op the random option for white. 
with a Discrocus Pro in Ireland to cast the Sphinx. Yeah, I think I think putting in the white is not the best choice. So let's go for Rift Bolt and Slime. So save this. All right, so I think we have a kind of mediocre uh, <laughs> Oath deck. If we don't draw Oath, our uh, Oath is our primal first plan. If we don't draw it, then we have a sort of um, wildfire idea and, you know, sort of value planeswalkers. All right, I sort of, I uh, got to be honest, feels like maybe a one and two deck <laughs> at best, but um, let, let's see how we do with this. I, I kind of wonder how the world would have gone had we taken the Rofellos instead of the Mox Pearl. Um, there was certainly a very good green deck going around. But it's really hard not to take a Mox. So I'm going to play first. Okay, well there's a first turn library, so we're not going to say no to that. And we'll keep. Um, and we'll just start with... Uh, yeah, it's tough not to play the, I mean, yeah, we could, even sort of playing out all our fast mana doesn't really give us even the, the Garouk, so we'll just start with the library and uh, we'll be done with that. Okay. So, let's uh, draw a card. Okay, well, the Through the Breach is certainly welcome. Uh, let's play the Temple. Uh, well, now, do we want to? Let's think here. Um, we could play Mountain into Mana Vault. And then next turn, Through the Breach, the Sphinx. The issue, though, is that the Sphinx won't, will just be a one-time hit, and it won't be that good. So let's uh, dig. Uh, Kozilek, that's much better. We'll put that on top. Now through the breach is looking a little more exciting. Ooh, that's something we definitely I think want to kill. All right. Uh, so if, if we play Mana Vault, do we just Mana Vault through the Breach, Kozilek, and wipe his board? That seems really good. Yeah, that seems so strong. That seems so strong. So let's just counter mana. So this will be three, four, five. Uh, and then we basically wipe all his stuff. And then we can kind of slowly redraw. Yeah, yeah, I think that's too good. So we'll do that. Stuff. All right. Okay, so we will not pay four. No. Uh, and sure, maybe we just uh, make a Garuk here. I don't even try anything else. Let's just make some holes. And then we can be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
time mark, okay? Fair enough. Okay. That's something we can happily kill. So I think what we want to do is untap the vault, kill the cobra and yar. So yes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's kill that. Alright. Hey, we redrew Kozilek. And now he's actually within the realm of castability, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, sure. So I think I'll wait on the, uh, the signet. Because we can always play it again later. And it mm -hmm. we do have mm -hmm. a chance of drawing up to seven. Okay. All right, so green, blue, ramp, and time walk. Uh, deck like that. Um, I don't think there's going to be any problem with the slime as a creature because um, he's going to play a lot of creatures, I think. Because uh, like was great. Sphinx would be great. Uh, do we have our one blue just in case for the Sphinx? We do. And we do have black we have two blacks and two whites so there's a real runner runner chance of casting sphinx that's fine no chance of casting gristlebrand everything else is castable uh i could see us wanting to run maybe helix against him for for what yeah maybe winter orb is just not very good against him right yeah i think that will not be great so yeah, maybe an off off helix here. Yeah, not super great on the white, right? One, two, just three. Eh, okay. Let's go for that. Okay, well we do have our a helix. <laughs> uh it's not the fastest start, but I'll keep it. We have an answer to Rafellos. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's start with the top land. And that we can put on the on the bottom. I think best for us is he plays Rofellos, and then if he plays Rofellos, I think we want to just Caracas it, don't we? Yeah, I think that's what we want. And save the, the Helix for like a regular elf. Okay. Come on, Rofellos. Wall of Roots, okay. Channel, uh-oh. This could be bad. Yeah, we're not going to be fat. If we draw a Mox, then we could place... Okay, this... It's actually not impossible here, because mm -hmm. we can play and chump with the Elder and then song him. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not the absolute worst here. Mm -hmm. Too bad that's not legendary, huh? Uh, so yeah, I think what we do is we play the mount. We play the mountain and elder his tribe. Okay. Doesn't have trample, right? Mm -hmm. So.
blocked so now we can sacrifice and I'll do the island just on the super off chance that we get a space here. Okay. Uh, so now we play forest I think and well could, could he have he could have like a flash prevencer or something. No that's fine. Okay so we'll play that uh, play a signet and then make sure we have enough for to song right which will be one two three so we could have a four spike uh, that is a risk we're running into Oof, okay. That is going to be quite brutal, I think, on the song. What? What did he destroy? He destroyed my signet. Why did he not destroy the song? If he destroyed the song, I would have lost three lands and I'd be dead. Well, okay, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> Certainly nice of him. Um, so let's play... A forest. Let's keep the Crocus in reserve, I think. And we'll play Signet. And then a Sylvan. Well, no, we want to keep... Yeah, if we tap this for Sylvan, we still have uh, Helix Mana up, so that's, that's good. I think our opponent made a mistake not considering the, uh, the song here. So we have a, what's he got? Pelucranus. Okay, that, that will start to become problematic fast. Luckily, it's legendary. So that's quite, that was a good reason to play Caracas, you know. Wait on the Caracas. Uh, do we want to helix this thing? I, I want to save it for something a little scarier. Uh, so I'm, I'm okay with taking two damage at this point. So yes. Ooh, there's an oath. That is great. Uh, so we want to bury the Kozilek, right? Mm -hmm. So first we mm -hmm. want to put Kozilek mm -hmm. back. And then we want to put Mountain back. Yeah. Okay, so we'll play the Oath. So let's uh, play Caracas. Um, let's return. And play Oath. I should have kept the blue up just for bluffing and uh, we'll be good okay that's that's a pretty good outcome for us here uh, if he doesn't play something super brutal ooh, okay that will start to hurt oh man man did I miss oh shoot I should have blown up his rex age shouldn't I no, it is on the stack. Okay. Uh, when he enters the battlefield. So he picked a target. Okay, so now I can helix that. Hopefully that, that works. Right? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So he... We'll use it, and hopefully we get a Kozlak here. Great. So yes, let's use Sylvan. 
Um, and I can blow up. damage to each opponent so I could end up doing six mm -hmm. to him mm -hmm. yeah, that seems pretty good uh, yeah just but now do I need to do it right now um, kind of like the idea of blowing up his uh, Mox Diamond though, just to kind of keep him low on mana. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's put this on Library, and we'll keep this in hand. Okay. Uh, so... Five. Oh, no, I only need four. So let's destroy one artifact and then deal two to each opponent. Oh, is this an artifact? Oh, that's an artifact too, isn't it? Ooh, let's kill two artifacts and one to each opponent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. That's a pretty hard board to recover from. All right. That was a good first start. I did not think that this deck was kind of capable of functioning uh, as well as it did. Um, but we ended up doing pretty well. All right. Let's do a little pause here and be right back. All right. We're back for uh, game two. We already uh, won game one, so I think we're ahead of expectations still think it's right to not play blood braid here inferno titan would have been yes inferno titan would have been fantastic against our opponent our previous opponent but yeah, I think he just really misplayed there because I think he was on autopilot and just wrecked Sage the um, uh, the Signet. Because had he wrecked Sage the Song of the Dryads, we would have lost, no question. So this will play first. Okay, we have a turn one library. We'll keep that. Hard to go wrong with turn one library. Stomping ground. Okay, that's a signet. Uh, so, gotta play a land. I think we can hold off on the island here. And yeah, because we might, we could draw a a two drop. We did not. Yeah, so maybe that was not the best play. Maybe we should have waited till end of turn. Hmm. Okay, well we already played, so we'll just discard uh, a mountain, I think. So if he plays a creature like that, yeah, I'm, that's going to be a problem. Actually, no, we can fire Confluence that. 
Uh, and that will be very nice because it will also hit his signet. So. So one to each creature, one to each opponent, and destroy artifact. Oh, it doesn't work on him. Mm -hmm. Right, right, because mm -hmm. it, it deals one to each creature. Okay. Yep. Well, it still did slow him down, but that was a wasted two damage. That was a poor play. Yikes. That's going to be a major problem for us. I don't know if we have a good way to deal with this. Uh, can't be targeted either, huh? Yep. TNN doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we really have anything that can win here. <sighs> well, it's tough for us to beat. O ring. We need like a sweeper. Well, Gristle Brand. I suppose if we can. There's no way to cast him, so we'd have to through the breach. Ugh, this does not look good. Maybe we can lure away some. With Garuk or something? No, I think the our only chance is to use Sylvan and maybe get a um, uh, get a through the breach for the Gristlebrand. And it's pretty unlikely, but. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, or we could also just draw a Cadillac. Keenan is a good card. Okay. Or oh, you didn't cast a self in him so bad. Uh, okay. Ooh, Chandra, mm -hmm. but she also deals damage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to concede here. Yeah, that's uh, pretty tough there. Um... Can't be targeted. Yeah, we have really no answer um, to a TNN, especially a double TNN draw like that. Uh, maybe just try to go over the top with creatures or something. Um, well, I'm okay to run it back. 
I guess maybe Exalted Angel would have been a thing. Yeah. Uh, oof, that's not good. Um, on the other hand, anything we do draw gets good. Yeah, I'll keep just in case. Um, boy, we'd have to draw something. No, no, let's mull again. I think I think that's um, being a little too aggressive. Okay, we can start with the uh, with the winter orb. And sure, I, lands seem good when you have a winter orb. So we'll play. We'll save the the scries on the other lands afterwards. So um, let's just lead with forest here. Possible play. No reason to play turn two winter orb. Unless we want to just try to slip it in, I suppose. And I'll let him tap out. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be good, actually. So we don't want our winner orb countered here, so maybe you can like tap out for something. Okay, that's that's a thing. So two for winter orb and then mountain pearl signet. Or do we play temple tapped? Temple tapped, then Signet and then Pearl and Winter Orb. Yeah. Temple tapped. Uh, and that we will want mm -hmm. on top. So then Mox and Signet and then Winter Orb. Five mana. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Etienne, yikes, yikes. Okay, okay. <sighs> brutal, brutal. Okay. Um, oh man, I really wish I had the angel. Uh, I think the best thing we can get here is the um, Inferno Titan. Yeah, so maybe we gain life and search for an Inferno Titan. Okay. We'll do that. So gain seven life and search for a creature. I guess there would be Sphinx. Sphinx would be a really nice option thanks to the lifelink. But um, well, I have the black, I just don't have the blue. And I don't want to, yeah. So, Crystal Note, 
Titan, yes. Kozilek, is he playable? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven, eight. He'd be two. Slow steel. Okay, so let's take the Titan. And. Okay, just hope we live long enough to tell the tale here. Two, three, four. So next turn I can play the Titan. All right. If it's a uh, counter spell, I'm pretty toast. Okay, that is also a Garouk, but it's a Garouk that I, I can't cast. So I'd rather play what I know I can cast. Some really. Yeah, Angel would have been really nice here. Uh, if he has any kind of removal, I'm <laughs> super fragile here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, uh, Garouk, does this do anything for me if I make a, a creature? Do I try to race him? Or I plus my Garouk? What does that do for me? Um, means he has another turn. So if I play Garouk and just make a beast, I've just got a regular 3-3 three, three against a TNN, um, which only sort of keeps parity if he has nothing. Uh, if I use Garouk to untap lands, it buys me a turn where he attacks Garouk down to one, I can still make a beast, but I could use it to potentially cast something else. So let's uh, play Garouk. And we'll untap two lands. Uh, let's untap uh, this and this. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty fragile here, but. Um, at least I can, I can also plus Grook again to maybe like untap everything in case I draw. Uh, something. I don't know what I would draw at this point. Mm -hmm. I really don't have a lot against mm -hmm. this. Oh, yeah, he's just going to kill Grook. Okay. Fast <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot. All right.
should see somehow. Yep, that's not getting cast anytime soon. at this point. Certainly would not have said no to a... Uh, I really think our, our out to this is the... Uh, what do you call it? The enchantment, right? Uh, sure, we can suppose with this. to the uh, Oath. Oath is really the, the answer we have to the TNN. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Yep, and these two TNN. Didn't even have to be sorted up. So we're starting with a gristle brand, which is a negative, but we also start with an Alexandria, which is a positive. Oh, okay, that's scary. Uh, okay, so let's play the out the library, and then we can tap it at the end of his turn, so that we don't have to discard and not make the mistake like last time. Do it now. Okay, it's okay, somewhat scary. Uh, well, it looks like we're definitely want to keep this, this, and this, right? Uh, and I think we want to keep that. So the other stuff we can discard is a bunch of lands. So we might as well play the temple and get the free scry out of it. Uh, that seems like something that could save our bacon, right? So we'll put that on. And we will discard one. Montagne. All right, so operation, in, we're on operation don't die until we can confluence, then breach, then tighten. <laughs> Something nasty. Well, that's problematic. Okay, that's also scary. 
Is it legendary? No, it's a wall of blossoms. I don't know if I use the library. If I draw the library, I'm going to get the um, Caracas. And then I'll still... And I know I, I need the two mountains. So I'll have to discard a forest. Uh, I think this is one of these weird cases where we have we want to keep everything we have. So I'm not going to use the library, as crazy as that sounds. Are these really the best cards I could possibly have? That feels like that's insanity now. Let's draw a card. Um, so I think here I definitely draw the stomping ground and that lets me afford to discard a mountain. And then next turn we're on the this plan. Okay. It does feel a bit scary. Uh, but yeah, we discard a mountain now, so we have double each. So next turn we're doing Confluence on the pod, the Signet, and the Tree Speaker. Well, no, because it's one damage. So we'd have to spend two of the Confluence things. Doesn't seem that great. Okay, what is this terrifying thing? most amazing thing would be if he played some sort of artifact creature and then we just triple confluence. Okay, the Elder. Well, now, now confluence on two damage is seeming good. Ooh, Mana Vault, okay. That's a thing. And slime. So I think what I want to do when it dies. Uh, so he's going to pod that anyway, but at least it removes the pod targets, right? So I think what we're doing is we're confluencing for t to do two damage. Mm -hmm to each creature and then I think we just blow up the pod mm -hmm. too you know and then we can always slime something else yeah let's do that so two to each creature and one on an artifact Was a mistake, huh? Yeah. I guess I could have gotten a signet instead. Well, no. If I wanted to kill this, I would, yeah. I'm not sure if that was a good play or not. I mean, at least it leaves him without, um, without any creatures. Master of the Wild Hunty. Okay. I feel 
like Inferno Titan is. Yeah, we're just going to play an Inferno Titan. With the vault, right? Uh, and just immediately blow up this guy. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we know we want to play, well, actually, or I, I could actually just play a land, one, two, three, four, five, no, that doesn't do it. But we want to make sure that we get our draw, so we'll play the forest, and then vault three, four, five, six, so we can still draw a card. something oh okay he's gonna cut it all right it still kills his thing okay so far that's okay we can slime his guy orb him so DC Okay, well, at least he's not exploiting, so that's something. Oh, he sacrificed himself. Oh. Oh, well, yep, that's a thing. That's a bit scary, actually. I wonder if that means we just need to win our orb immediately. To prevent whatever hellish thing he's got. That's. Hmm. So I cannot pay this, and then I can just orb and like slime or something. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. I mean, what if it's some like hideous creature I can't deal with? Um, yeah, let's uh, not pay. No. Now you have to realize if I play orb, we're going to start having to destroy a lot of our own stuff. What's he got at six? That was really scary. Uh, all right, let's draw a card. Hmm. And there's also just zealousing whatever he does play. I guess if you play something really scary, I can song it. Um, so that sort of makes me want to not. That sort of makes me want to just play the slime. Just slow him down so orb is even worse next time. Okay, I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four, five. Play the slime ball. All right. 
So if it's a permanent that's really bad, I can songs it and then like play Winter Orb. Okay, a non-land card. So he can take my Winter Orb, I suppose. No, he took the song, okay. Yeah, three or less. Yikes, that's really scary too. Do I orb now? Orbing now doesn't help me, so I might as well. A card. Now I wish I would tap differently. Well, had I known. Um, but yeah, that's certainly a thing. Okay, so I still have big turn potential next time. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the forest just so I can draw an extra card with my library next turn and just attack here. Okay, here's something scary. Gristlebrand, okay. Just bounce it now. And then we're definitely going to orb. Oh, he made a mistake there, I think. So no. Um, okay, so first let's draw a card. Uh, let's play the Mox Pearl. And now can we play everything? We want to play Winter Orb and Chandra. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should not be a problem. Red. Three. Four, five, six. Yeah, and then do need to tap the vault. Plus. Orb. Okay, I think we may have won this one by the skin of our teeth. So red, black, value, gristle brand. Um, is fast bond still good here? Mentor does seem good. Uh, wildfire does seem meh, I guess, against him. Conscript seems good. Maybe we take out a wildfire so we can like put in an O-ring or something. Or even blood bride. Also, Sphinx doesn't seem that good to, against him. Well, he does have green. It's he's a uh, green black. Hmm. 
top with like what five islands? I mean mm -hmm. five mountains. Mm. I guess I'm I'm considering maybe blood braid. Well, Helix, you know, does he does have like stuff like the wolves and stuff. So wildfire is not actually that bad. I can see wanting Helix for what, like fast bond maybe? Okay, let's do that. Really getting lucky with my opponents making mistakes there. I guess he played Gristlebrand because he had nothing else. Ooh, through the breach and a Kozilek. That's great. And yeah, we will keep that. Now, just in case he has a uh, Inquisition or something, we'll play the Mox. And also, if he plays something really broken, there's the option of doing a Song of the Dryads, turn two. Fantastic. Hmm. So three, I guess I need two more turns to play through the breach. Okay, it's not fantastic. Remember, this is an instant. Mm. I can't see myself uh, mm. blocking now. Okay. All right. So next turn we're causalizing. The best thing we could draw would be a red source, and then have a Chandra. I don't think we want Winter Orb here, so yeah, we'll be done. At least the Annihilator 4 will, will do something here. And then we did get the red source. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's see if we can live. He could just, <laughs> you know, discard all this and kill us on the swing back, but. You know, that's actually a thing, huh? Um, if we breach and play Kozilek, are we just dead? He can hit us for eight next time, but then we can Song and Chandra. So no, no, I think that's okay. I think Kozileking is right here. So he did blow up all his mana. But that's that's kind of okay because now I can I think Chandra Song and Chandra is kind of scary for him. Can't play both though. Uh, but this is his last card. Sure, an opponent control dies. Okay. Mm. Luckily, it's not on these creatures. Birthing pod. Okay. Six, seven. Mm. Hmm. Is he going to attack? Or is he just going to pod? Pod the worm. 
Well, let's see what he plays. So the good news is I think if I can song the worm or whatever he pods from it, um, then he's got no cards in hand and then a Chandra wipe would take care of his board. Okay, so he's gonna do it. I'm wondering if it's a shoulder. Yeah, that's what I thought it might be. Okay. So we, we yield to that. So. Ooh, there's also a primal command. Yeah, I could just primal his shoulder. Uh, and then next turn, Chandra. I can't stop him from. I don't want him to let you know have shoulder because then he's just going to bring this back, right? So I have to deal with it. So primal shoulder, and I could search for something mm -hmm. as well, or even just gain life. Kind of like primaling because then if you can, I even do both. Mm -hmm. Primal shoulder, he draws it. Mm -hmm. He can't cast it right because two, three, four, five, so he's not even mm -hmm. close. And then next turn, I Chandra mm -hmm. wipe. Mm -hmm. That's got to be good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's uh, primal. Um, oh, non creature permanent. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> misread. Uh, so I think we sung the shoulder now. And that's just all we do. And then do we don't win our orb and yeah, we just uh, chandra the next turn. Okay, that's our turn. So ideally, if he pods, it's for something I can, I can kill. Please play an elf of some kind. Okay, okay good. Good for us. And then we could even. Do we have enough to. Three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have enough to win orb as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we do this and then we pop Chandra for. Ugh. Do we pop Chandra for four? And then just search for the Sphinx. Mm. Mm. And just let him keep potting. You can only pod for something that's three. Uh, and then I've got that. Yeah, I'm going to mm. challenge it. Maybe this is a bit risky. Wipe his board or no? We also just time walk him. Thing is, then Chandra becomes like a real threat as well. Yeah, let's just do it for two to hurt his mana. Yeah. Okay, 
so I, I realize I'm playing a little bit with fire here. I'm giving him a pot activation. Uh, but I'm also sort of gambling that my Chandra is better than whatever he can bring with pot. Not expector. Okay. I feel like that's not quite the worst thing I could see. Ooh, and there's an oath too. So that's really nice. So let's first uh, make. Elementals, let's see a few blocks. Oh. All right. <laughs> so yeah, he, he conceded, but I think I had an okay kind of end game there, right? We had the 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 oath and we had the primal command. So the duck ended up going um, two and one, better than I expected. Uh, First turn library goes a long way. I got that a lot. Um, and Oath really was broken when I drew it. Um, and the games I did lose to was to TNN, and which is, I think, something my deck just didn't really have an answer to. So, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it went. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll definitely be uploading more of these as the season goes on.